right, everybody. Mr. Jeffries here again. We're going to do one more poetry activity. I hope you enjoyed completing a slam poem and then also completing a blackout poem. So today we're going to think about a picture inspired poem and I'm going to show you three different images and you're going to answer a few questions about the images and then we're going to put it in the form of a poem. So what's fun about this activity is that you're going to be thinking about maybe what an inanimate object thinks about, dreams about, worries about, and an inanimate object is an object that is not alive. So you probably don't spend a lot of time looking at a shopping cart at Save Mart and wondering what it thinks about and what it dreams about. And the reason that is, is because I think it's fairly reasonable to assume that these things don't think or dream because they don't have brains. But for our creative imagination, it's very, very helpful to try to imagine answering those questions for inanimate objects. So this one's really straightforward. You're just gonna answer a couple questions when I show you a picture, and then you're gonna pop it into kind of a template or a frame, and then you're gonna have some pretty awesome poems. So away we go. Here are the five questions you're gonna think about when I show you a picture. Number one, <clears throat> What did this person or thing dream about last night? So think about what people dream about, maybe what you dream about, maybe what you dreamt about last night, and then try to apply that to whatever picture I'm about to show you. What does this person or thing hope for? So think about the things that you hope for and um, then try to apply that onto the picture that I'm about to show you. What does this person or thing miss more than anything? Well, what do you miss more than anything? Probably hanging out with your friends and getting to go places, if I had to guess right now. Um, of what is that person or thing jealous? So it seems like we're all jealous of someone or something. You're gonna try to put yourself in the place of this item or this person, and you're gonna try to think of what they are jealous and where does the person or thing hide items that it wants no one to be able to find? So obviously these questions are on purpose, very ab abstract, I think is a good word for it. They're kind of to stretch your imagination and to get you thinking there's no right or wrong answer, but the more you try to imagine that you are this thing, uh, the better you're gonna be able to answer these questions and the more interesting poem you're going to create. So. Round one, this is called Jungle Bridge. So go ahead and take a second to just look at that picture. You notice that there are four ropes that would be for a person's hands to cling onto as they cross the bridge. And then you notice that there are some wooden planks that are spread across the bottom ropes. And then you also notice that there are some pillars at the end of the picture that secure the hand ropes. There's also a jungle uh, scene in the background. And so you are going to write this poem from the perspective of this bridge. So my five questions, what did this bridge think or dream about last night? We well, have to ask yourself, what would a bridge possibly think or dream about? I really don't know. What does this person or thing, what does this bridge hope for? Well, if you were that bridge, what would you hope for? The first thing I notice is that it's desperately in need of repair. I'm sure any object, be it a bridge or a tower or a building, or a shopping cart, if it's broken, I'm sure it wants somebody to fix it, right? What does this person or thing miss more than anything, G? What is this bridge jealous of? Hmm. And where does this bridge hide items that it wants no one to find? Well, when you're a bridge like that, there really aren't too many places to hide things. So those are some very interesting questions, Mr. Jeffries. Yes, I know, Mr. Jeffries. All right, well, I'll give you my best answers. The first thing to do is uh, plug it into a template. So whatever your answers are, you plug them into kind of this frame. Last night I dreamt, da, 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 and it made me hope that, da, 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 da. and what I miss more than anything is, da, 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 da. if I could only, da, 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 like, da, 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 da. that's the jealousy question, but I hide the, the most secret place, da, 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 da. So, you ready to see my answers? Here's what I came up with. Last night, I dreamt I was a tree again, like before I got here. And it made me hope that someone would fix these loose boards. And what I really miss more than anything is the rain on my leaves. 
if I could only anchor into dirt, like that palm tree to my right, but I hide the most secret place, the hollow pillars that connect the ropes. So when I answered those questions, I thought, well, it's a wooden bridge. Maybe the wooden bridge dreams about being a tree again before it was cut down and harvested and turned into lumber. And maybe since it's suspended between two cliffs, maybe it misses the feeling of dirt and the feeling of being anchored into the ground. And you notice that there's a palm tree to the right of the bridge. And maybe that bridge sits there envious of that palm tree all day and uh, wonders what it would be like to be back in the ground. And what does it do with all these secret thoughts? Uh, it hides them in those pillars uh, that are hollow, that connect the ropes. So I wonder what your answers would like. We're like, I'd love to hear them. All right, you ready for a new one? All right, a historic picture, a historic portrait in a very ornate frame. So the same five questions, I'm not gonna read them to you. We've done it once and you can read. So we'll just quietly sit for a second and look at the poem. Excuse me, we'll look at the picture in anticipation of creating the poem. So when I do these activities, I try to notice things about the picture. So probably the first thing you notice is that it's in all black and white. So I think that's key. You also notice that the hair of the woman is pulled back kind of tightly. You also notice that her eyes are downcast, almost making her look sad or contemplative. Uh, her dress comes all the way up to her chin and it covers her neck, which makes her look very, I don't know, uh, sorrow or sullen, almost looks like she's going to a funeral. She looks very serious. She looks quiet, she looks calm. She looks demure, if you're studying for the SAT. All right, take those ideas that you came up with and answer those five questions. And then I'll tell you about mine. I think because she's in black and white, she dreams about color. And I think that she maybe is in a museum and I think that she wishes that she could be in a different room or that she could see something else from where she is hung in this museum. And I think she misses certain colors. And I think she wishes that she could be like another painting or portrait in the museum. And I'm try I was looking at that picture and I'm like, where is a secret place that she could hide all these thoughts and feelings? And the only one I could come up with is the space between where the portrait meets the frame. And so I thought maybe if you had something to hide, that would be a place that you could hide it in between the portrait and the flame, the frame rather. So here's my poem for round two. Last night I dreamt I was in color and it made me hope they'd move me into the room with the painting of the sunset. And what I miss more than anything is indigo. If I could only point right instead of left like the portrait in the hallway, but I hide it in the most secret place, the space between me and the frame. So as I was writing, one thing I thought about is, man, if you were stuck there in that portrait for tens of years, dozens of years, 50 years, 60 years, 100 years, oh my gosh, you're pointed in one direction for decades, right? And so I thought about how badly maybe she would love to be turned and face the other direction. You know, when you sleep and you sleep on your right, I sleep on my side, you sleep on your right side for a while and then halfway through the night, you turn over to your left and you turn back to your right. It's nice to kind of move back and forth. I can't imagine being stuck facing in one direction for decades. So I tried to put myself in the mind of, pretty sure that's Audrey, Audrey Hepburn for those of you that are big old time movie buffs. All right, last one, round three. They get increasingly harder. Plane wing, ooh, to be a plane wing. 
What does a plain wing dream about? What is a plain wing hope for? What is a plain wing miss? What is a plain wing jealous of? Jeez, Mr. Jeffries, what were you thinking? Where does a plain wing hide things that it wants no one to find? This one I really struggled with. I'll be honest with you guys. I found this picture. I'm like, okay, I'm using this picture. And then I'm like, I cannot think of what a plain wing would dream about. I mean, think about it. Plain wing has a great life. It flies around all day. It's been to everywhere in the world. Um, it's constantly in motion, exploring, looking over mountains and oceans and lakes and cities and like, it has a great life. So what could it hope for? And what could it be jealous of? Like, I don't know. I had a really tough time imagining. So what I tried to think about is often people wish about the opposite of what they have. And so if a plane is always in motion and a plane wing is always in the air, maybe what it dreams and hopes for is to just be down on the ground for a while, right? If it's been up there flying around for days on end or weeks on end, I didn't know it when I was a kid, but now that I'm an adult, you know, planes fly to one, uh, they, they fly to one location and then they literally turn them around and they fly right back where they came from, just like a bus, you know? And so I used to think for some reason when I was a kid that planes only flew one flight a day. I don't know in my head. I just thought that a flight was something where, okay, a plane wakes up in San Francisco and then it flies to New York and then it's done for the day, right? It's like, no, they gas them up and they turn them around and they go right back. So aren't these planes exhausted? And I know I'm being kind of silly, but we're trying to imagine what it's like to be these objects. So maybe this plane is dreaming and hoping for some time off, right? For some time in the hangar on the ground, not up in the air. So let's see what I came up with. Last night I dreamt I was staying still inside a hangar and it made me hope I could spend a week on the ground. And what I miss more than anything is the feeling of nothing, not having to push this wind out of the way. If I could only retreat into the body of the plane for a while, like the landing gear, but I hide it in the most secret place, the red light flashing at my tip of my wing. And so I was like, man, where would a plane hide things? Where would a plane wing hide something? And uh, the only thing I could think of was if you guys have ever been on a plane at night, there are lights at the end. One of them's red and one of them's green to show other planes or people on the ground. I'm not really sure what direction the plane's going. And so that little, that light flashes or flickers as you're flying throughout the nighttime. And so I thought maybe that's the one place that a plane could hide something, a plane wing could hide something. So a fun activity to stretch your imagination. I hope you came up with some good ideas. Uh, they were probably better than mine. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed writing some poetry and getting your imagination going um, during this time that we can't be at school together. So we will catch you later. And thank you for tuning into TUSD TV.